Oh, that was a tough two. Back here in the zone. And now, Joe, you've got a dog, right? Yes, I do. His name is Boots. He is, he is, he is a great a addition to our Boots. home. Boots is uh, what they call a Havanese. So I know he's what a, Havanese is. He's a have a poo. Okay. So he's a Havanese and a, and a poodle mix. I love mix. that. All right. He's so a have a poo. How so I have this? a poo. Apparently, you have to what? I have a poo. Oh, okay. So you have a poo. Now. I have okay. a poo, not have Well, okay. Poo. Well, apparently the DMV's <laughs> dog economy you. is absolutely booming <laughs> from dog menus at restaurants to dog workouts and paw pool parties the or pool, pool parties. Okay, it's paw It's everywhere. Tea. Got it's, it. Yes. Anna Spiegel with Axios Live with us to talk about this. I mean, we've gone to the dogs literally here, Anna, and with good reason. I mean, listen, people love their pets and businesses are responding. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, after the pandemic, when so many more people got dogs um, and pets in general, um, and now they're kind of out and about with their dogs because they one don't want to maybe leave them at home and they're also really bonded. Now, let me ask you, pool parties yes. and, and menus for dogs, I haven't heard of this, uh, maybe not on my side of the town. Is this a big thing around the entire DMV? Because I want to take my dog to the restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think one of the more fun things is, you know, Fairmont West End started a VIP menu, which is a very important puppy menu, wow. on Tuesdays. And they have everything from pogaritas, which are basically margaritas made with no alcohol and chicken broth, and steak bowls, and you can treat yourself and your dog to a nice cocktail. Wow. And, and, you know, we're finding more and more venues actually catering to dogs before you can maybe have your dog sit outside with you on the patio. Right. But now restaurants are saying, okay, we actually have a dog menu or maybe dog wow. treats I really to, to bring you in. Uh, yeah, right. But it's money making. Why not? Right. If people love their pets, they're going to spend money. Businesses are responding. Right, Anna? Absolutely. You know, Dasha Beer Gardener, for example, the locations in Shaw and Navy Yard, they have a whole separate puppy menu that has even dog beer. It's called Good Boy Beer. Um, dog biscuits, dog bowls. And so people, they said, stay longer because they don't have to go home and walk their dog. They can kind of hang out there for a few hours, have an extra round. So when we're talking economy-wise, are we talking right. billion-dollar economy, millions, or well on the way to becoming billions? You know, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure here in D.C. I know it's also a national trend. You know, you have restaurants even like Dog in San Francisco that are doing $75 dog tasting menus. What? So it's definitely on the rise. <laughs> you know, those numbers. A doggy tasting a doggy ta All right, so let me, I'm going right. to go ahead and say this. I am a dog, I, I own, I'm a dog owner, and I'm be quickly becoming a dog lover. Yes. However, I am old school. There is no way my wife is giving up $75 <laughs> for yes. a dog tasting menu yet. Right. What is the big draw yeah. about a dog? Explain this to me. I'm, a, I'm <laughs> old school, and this is all new to me. <laughs> I think if you want to treat your dog almost like a kid, you know, or, have, or a best friend, you know, you're taking them out and you're treating them. You know, I think the dog tasting menu is definitely on the high end of the spectrum on, uh, you know, I don't know if I spend $75 in my dog's photo either, right. but I definitely would have beer with them if I could. So, uh, so is it, am I out of step if I still no. think that my dog should be around the house to catch mice or oh snakes to yes. make sure intruders <laughs> yes, don't come in? Out of step. And you know, and all that. Am I out of step? Yeah, because dogs are now part of the family. You guys got it. You talked about how it's, you know. Now I love him to yeah. death, but he has some work to do around the house. They're not these new age, new age dogs. These new age dogs are definitely part of the family and expect to be treated as such. And Anna's talking about all the places that are now really catering to that. I, 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 guess I, so. I even heard like a potini. <laughs> One has like a potty. Yeah, there's also even, there's even dog bars now. So there's a new one opening this month called See? Snouts and Stouts in Arlington. It's going to be the D.C. area's first indoor dog bar. There's a few other outdoor <laughs> dog bars like Bark Social and Bark House. Uh, but this should be a fun one. And not so, to mention all the dog parks opening up. I love the dog yeah. park. Because that's, that's when him and his element, but he gets a little scared because Catch this, Joe. People are going there too to meet others, like a dating kind of thing. So, you know, pet lovers meeting other pet lovers. It's a hot right. spot. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, this is all new to me. I will get my dog a, what you say, a partini? A partini. Okay, partini it is, Boots. See? Anna, keep it coming with all the suggestions Thank you, Anna. you're reporting because obviously Fine, DC so has gone to the dogs and we are thrilled about it. Thanks so much, Anna. Wow, I'm not paying child support for this dog, do I? <laughs> for not yet. Okay. That's, that maybe, who knows, that might be a coming trend. Does he, does he get a driver's license at some point? We don't know.